Rainbow Tarot and I'm excited to do this reading. So let's go to the table and see what we can find out and answer the questions. Hi there. So this is a requested reading about um, Solar and Moonbill from the um, K-pop group Mama Moo. So I'm going to shuffle the cards and find out about any messages that we're allowed to know about Solar and Moonstar. That's her um, nickname. So that's easier to pronounce. So I'm going to say that. So messages about these two and their connection. So Solar and Moonstar. Solar and Moonstar and their connection. How is it at the moment? Solar and Moonstar from Mama Moo, the K-pop group. How is the connection going on? How are things between them, Solar and Moonstar? So, let's see what we have. Um, so firstly we have the Ace of Hearts. So what I'm getting is that they have the kind of connection where they support each other through hard times and they have a very close companionship which satisfies their souls and what I mean by this is um, no problem is too big or small they will be there for each other for everything and anything. Well, that's good. So this is also about um, self-love, this card. And I feel they're both um, very comfortable within themselves. And because they have this self-appreciation, they're able to be caring and appreciate each other, which has built this solid connection between them. So it's a caring, heartfelt um connection where they're there for each other in times of trouble and they're there for each other to celebrate the good times anything good going on in their life as well so let's see what else we have so we have the um queen of hearts and we have the moon so i'll hold these two up for you to see So what I do see is um, Solar is very intuitive and has a sixth sense. Um, yeah, she has a sixth sense about things. So sh she plays a significant role in um, Moonstar's life, being supportive and reliable. And Moonstar listens to her trusted advice because she's usually right about things. You know, she surprises her. She's like, oh, you were right. So, yeah, that, they do have a good connection. So, and this um, moon card has a significance um, in the reading in the way that um, I feel like there's some projects um that they're thinking about working on and are working on that 
they sort of talk about between themselves this hasn't been made public yet um because it'll be a surprise for their fans and also whether it would be right for the band right now and everything so there's some things going on behind the scenes in secret but in a good way so um and they take into account what would suit every member of the band because i believe there's four of them and um you know because they're that sort of group um they're considerate to each other but they want to make sure that everybody has their say so they talk about it together and then with the other band members uh, and decide whether it's right for them now right for their fans also i think there's a band member leaving when her contract is up so I think the reason probably the other three are staying is that um, there's certain projects that they want to fulfil and um, that's why they're staying and, and that would apply to these two. So they have that in common also. So I also feel that Moonstar and Solar are both going through some sort of spiritual growth and change in their lives um so they need to move th through this transition with ease and i just think they're helping each other and guiding each other through this new phase in their lives which is probably to do with their careers they're all um growing as people and um they're still ambitious and they kind of like inspire each other these two and um you know support e each other with any ideas that they want to put forward to the rest of the band so yeah it's a good connection so i'm just going to shuffle the cards um not these ones actually the ones we've been using um shuffle the cards and see what other messages we get about their connection moonstar and solar from manamu k-pop band and the things between them about their connection solar and moon star Oops. dropping all the cards solar and moon star messages about their connection so we have the two of hearts so um this is about their union so so i think these two they have a strong bond and are both very intelligent they always have a lot to talk about either at work or when they hang out together so i think moonstar is the practical one and solar is very compassionate so their connection works well because solar is the emotional one and moonstar is the strong dependable one in the team so i just feel that these two are on the same wavelength they have similar goals and desires as each other. I feel they get along very well together and they encourage each other to succeed. 
so their close union overflows into everything that they do I, I also feel they're both working hard on their careers and they will help each other move to the next level with that so that's very good um, if you've got a connection with someone like that So next we have the um, Eight of Hearts. So what I do feel is it may not have always been this way. I think when they first joined the band, I don't think um, they were sort of um, naturally drawn to each other. I think as the band all got to know each other, I feel like the other two band members are close. Uh, are very good friends like besties and I, I feel like these two um then found they did have a lot in common and get on really well and it, once they broke the ice I think they get on you know famously really well together um I don't think they sort of foresaw that they would but they do so um yeah, they, they just gel well together, you know, get get on very well. So, yeah, I feel like there's nothing they wouldn't help each other with in their lives. There's also, um, I feel they, they both have this same desire to escape the material world. And that is where they both feel true happiness and success can be found. And they're right about that, <laughs> for sure. Um, and I think what I take from that, um, this is just my opinion, is that, you know, um, although they have a lot of wealth now and they've made an, a lot of money, it's made them realise that, um, you know, they buy expensive things and can buy what they like. Um, what really matters in their lives, which is things like happiness, um, companionship, self-love enjoying yourself and um peace and relaxation so you know that's one good thing often when people become very wealthy all of a sudden um you know they go out and buy all these things they've never been able to buy but as time goes on those things are nice nicer than not having them but they don't satisfy them and a lot of people who come into money um, find this that real happiness is, is about your actual caring connections with people family friends you know parents pets and of course your experiences the, the things that make you happy that you like doing and of course everybody needs some peace and relaxation in their life as well so um, you know they're both on the same wavelength as that they've grown as people and, and realized these things which is great um and this is what i i see with these two um they get on on well and they share similar views on lots of things in life um, they've got similar tastes and interests. I think they kind of laugh at similar things and um, like some of the same TV shows and films, that type of thing. So yeah, things are going well between these two. So I'll get the um, Oracle cards now, I think. I'm going to give these a shuffle. So, tell us more about the connection between Moonstar and Solar of Mamamoo, the K-pop group. Messages we're allowed to know about 
solar and moon star. Messages about their connection, solar and moon star. So here we have it, the friendship card. which is about them supporting each other on their K-pop journey. And they have the sort of friendship um, where they know they can trust each other and share private thoughts. And they like to share advice and it's all about having another point of view for them. And they also celebrate their successes so yes, they are close friends, they're besties. So the next one is Inner Child. So I do think Solar and Moonstar know how to be true to themselves. And by being um, true to themselves, they um, they nurture this friendship well, and also I do feel this is why um, fans look up to them, to them and the whole group. Um, yeah, I, I do think fans look up to them and admire them because they're good role models for girls to follow because. They come across as natural and confident and they have a lot of talent and I just feel their charisma comes through. So I just feel like the whole persona of the group on stage um, shows kind of how an independent woman can be. But when I say an independent woman, woman um who knows what she wants and is not going to be suppressed by society and society's um expectations so i think this is what i like about these girls they've been allowed to keep their personalities styles and ways so um yeah they're naturally being themselves so I do get a good vibe from them and I think this is why they work well together in the band um, because they're all doing that, they're all allowed to do that. They feel strongly and passionately about being themselves and portraying um, young women, modern young women, not how we used to see women. Um, as they did years ago it was all about what you looked like and you had to be some sort of icon but they're just doing their own thing take me as i am this is how i am like me or hate me and i think people love them because they can see that that's all natural so yeah that is a good thing so the next card is the gateway card. So um, and this is about them um, not being afraid to step into the unknown, which relates to these cards, um, not being afraid to show who they really are. So they're definitely not afraid to show how women can be empowered by just being themselves, being confident, being out there, doing themselves, which, which is, is what they're doing, being themselves. And I think that really helps them and it's helped them um, become so popular. So they're doing it differently because of this. And, you know, it, with their songs, I see this too. So I feel that they've 
they've got songs about um self-love and everything so this is all good um i think it could um encourage fans to uh, follow in their footsteps about believing in themselves and just doing your own thing regardless being confident about you so i do feel that they have this with this friendship card this close friendship bond um and it's full of laughter um yeah and i i feel they have a lot of good times together and solo uh, goes to moonstar when she has a problem and moonstar goes to solo when she needs a shoulder to cry on um because she's the one person she can open up to so they are best friends who feel comfortable around one another because they accept each other as they are and i think this is the message they try to portray on stage as well about self-love accepting yourself as you are and everybody else as they are and then we can all live in a better world anyway so i hope you've enjoyed this reading um thank you for watching sending you love and light bye for now